Good evening. At the beginning of this evening, first of all, we have to say we have an ethical commitment to the security of the hostages and to bring them home to their families. Our hearts are with the hostages in Gaza, men, women, children and elderly, among them also IDF soldiers who were abducted by a cruel organization and are held in Gaza. We shall do everything possible to bring them back as fast as possible. The chief of staff evaluated today with the reservists within the Gaza Strip, and he said to them that the ground operation brings achievements, but the road is still long, and we shall continue to pressure Hamas until we obtain the goals of the war, among them, of course, bringing the hostages back. We will update the families with any information we have about their loved ones and later on the public through the media. Anything that has to do with this subject, I suggest to listen. I recommend to listen to reports from only official factors. We shall report the truth to the public when we have the details and the facts. When they will be in our hands, we shall report. During the day, the idea the F continued to obtain achievements in Gaza. We encircled the Jebalia. We also completed and deepened the, the war in the Zaytun compound. The forces ex expose terrorists and we are prevailing. We will continue to eliminate the terrorists of Hamas no matter where they are. Today as well, we continue to expose the underground infrastructure of Hamas under the Shifa hospital, and we shall do so with additional hospitals. They built a methodical infrastructure and they use patients and doctors as human shields. Human shields for terrorist activity. This is a war crime against the international law, and we shall continue to expose this to the world in order to dismantle this method. In the north, we eliminated a few anti-tank units who tried to launch anti-tank uh, missiles from the border to Israel. We eliminate every threat because that area in the border is a war zone, out of which Hezbollah is uh, implementing terror and violates all the, the, the UN resolutions. They act from south of Lebanon in urbanized areas and risks citizens. We also attacked uh, weapons and the uh, army base of Hezbollah. And this is in reaction to a shooting that Hezbollah did to urban areas in the north. We have no casualties. We are in complete readiness in the north in offense and defense. In the home front, we keep updating the directives. Please listen to the directives. They're life-saving. Until now, we announced to the families of 390 soldiers who fell in battle of defending Israel. We are embracing the families in this very difficult hours, and we shall continue to do so. Any questions? Channel 13, if we're talking about the hostage deal, what about uh, the risk of abducting soldiers and also jeopardizing the soldiers? And what happens if uh, Hamas uh, breaks the deal? There is advancement regarding the outline of the hostage deal. It has to be finalized by the government. We are now focusing on the fighting here in the IDF. We will know how to prepare in such a way that will preserve our operational achievements and also the outline that will be finalized. I suggest to wait until things are finalized. Before they're finalized, they're not final. And uh, it might be a long way. I hope not, but you never know.
How will we know what's happening in Gaza while our drones are not going to be in the sky? If we're talking about a ceasefire, again, I repeat what I said. These are very important questions with a lot of details. There is an outline. We try to implement it. The IDF will be able to abide by any agreement, any finalization. This is a long war with a lot of stages. This outline as well will have stages. We're talking about a long war, and we have goals and objectives. In order to live up to these objectives, the road is long. So we will know how to preserve our achievements and also to prepare ourselves for the next stages. Yes.